about to roll into my next piece. Um, it's called Russian Roulette. One bullet, six chambers. As I load this one bullet into this revolver and spin the chambers, I understand that it's a one in six chance I'll die playing this game of Russian Roulette. Understand the reason for such a harsh demonstration was brought upon by my frustration of the way some humans live life without appreciation, doing things to kill themselves day in and day out. Click. That was for the junkie that pulls the trigger every night when they pull that belt strap tighter and they forearm and take flight to hair on heaven. These false prophecies and philosophies was given by the reverend, the drug dealer, standing on the corner, blocked from the 7-Eleven, willingly passing out loaded of revolvers. They put the gun to their vein instead of their brain, killing themselves slowly. Click. This is for all the people having unprotected sex, not caring about themselves or the next person they sleep with. Get caught by the monster AIDS and now you're in deep ish, because now you're living with a disease who will never move out. Never pay rent. A disease that could have took seconds to prevent. Smart enough to get accepted into a university, but then dumb enough to catch an STD. You see, these college students amaze me. It's like they're playing Russian roulette. Revolvers pointed toward each other's body parts. Guys with guns pointed not to their head, but the head of their penis. Girls with guns pointed to their vagina. One shot of life slowly speeds up the timer. Click. This is for all the people that live in the bar. And they jump in their car, not thinking about the lies they could possibly take with their recklessness. Because of you, my friend had to wear a neck braces instead of necklaces. Leg braces after being hospitalized. Then you got the nerve to go to the hospital with lies asking for a liver transplant. You're killing me, not literally, but hysterically, drowning yourself with alcohol and then calling the therapy, click. This is for all the people that don't want to live, thinking suicide is the only option when it is not. From slitting your wrists until taking your pills until your hearts give, whining about how hard your life is, when others in other countries really have a hard life. You see, little African children will starve tonight, and African women will be raped tonight by HIV positive men. But your life is hard, right? How is it that they can still see God right? Click. I now know that there's a 100% chance that the next chamber contains a bullet. But wait, the game isn't over till I pull it. You see, millions of people play this game every day by will, not by force. But of course, the junkie has a justification for the reason why he does smack in. The suicidal person always leaves a suicide note explaining that the reason was that. And the alcoholic always finds a reason for why he's drinking. And the horny college student doesn't say anything, but I wasn't thinking. So maybe I won't think either before pulling this trigger.